Okay, this tutorial is going to cover the basic Mac default built-in browser called Safari, which is very similar, if not exactly the same, to the browser that's in an iPhone. Uh, it is called Safari, and it looks very similar. Um, what you'll notice when it first opens is, is often there has been a Google search area that you can type in a word, and Google will come back with results of what it finds for you. Instead what they've done is you just type it in here. You could type in a URL or paste in a website address URL or you can simply type in a word and it'll find whatever you want by just typing it in here. I have some uh, links that I've embedded into my Mac Lab for YouTube, Google Images, Pixlr.com which is a website for editing uh, digital images and I have an IC student link for taking AR tests. So I'm going to use Google Images and run through a couple of things that you can do with a browser that you will probably use uh, for typing papers or creating PowerPoint presentations. So I'm going to click on Google Images and let's say I have a kid who is doing an artwork about Georgia O'Keeffe. So I click on Georgia O'Keeffe and it gives me all these images of Georgia O'Keeffe. Okay, so let's say I like one of these pictures here and we'll click on it. Let's say I want to capture this. There's a couple ways of capturing this image that the student could grab and then use it in, a, in like say a pages typed up paper. Uh, the first way is to on your keyboard in the bottom left hand corner or bottom right hand corner there are two exact the same uh, keys on the keyboard called control. Hold it down while your mouse is over the picture you want to uh, download. Then click on the screen while you're holding down the control key. Move down to download image and it will then, you'll see it jump down here to the downloads area in the dock and you'll see a very small thumbnail picture of that exact same thing. So that's the first way to capture or download, that's a way to download an image. Now. Another way to do this, because some websites um, don't allow you to use that method, a second method is to press down three keys on the Mac keyboard at the same time, and it then allows you to do what's called a screen capture. So here's what you do. You press down the Command key, the Shift key, and the number four key at the top where the dollar sign is at the same time. Press Command, Shift, and 4, and your mouse will turn into a target which you then drag over whatever you want on the screen and it snaps a picture of it. So I'm going to hold down the command, shift, and the four key. You'll notice now my mouse has turned into a target and you see these little numbers that talks about coordinates on the actual screen. Okay so what you do is you can let go of those three buttons now. You, you have this uh, target you click and drag from one top corner to its opposing diagonal corner then let go. It'll make a snap and then over here on the desktop you'll see that picture, that screen capture that you just grabbed from this website, uh, the Google Images website. Now if uh, the student needs to save this they should then drag it into their HMP. They should be logged in and they can dr then liter literally drag and drop into their H or P partition on the network. If you want to rename the file, literally click on it for a few seconds and hold the mouse key down, then let go. You'll notice then it's highlighted here and I could say Georgia O'Keefe. I'm going to leave the apostrophe out because it may mess with naming systems you never know. It probably won't on a Mac, it usually works anyway. Hit return and there you have it. So that's how you rename a file. 